This video is brought to you by Monster Insights. Do you need to edit the footer of your WordPress website? There's a lot of different ways that people will use that area and they are not always sure how best to edit that area. So in this video, I'll walk you through three different methods so you can pick the one that works best for you. Hey there, I'm Christina with WP Beginner where we teach you all about WordPress so you can grow your website and reach your audience. So if you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the tutorials like this one where we teach you several different ways to edit the WordPress footer area. The first one is usually by using a widget. So there's really two different areas of your website. And I'll show you from WP Beginner. So I'm on WP Beginner site and there's kind of two different spots. We've got the widget area that you can add anything like an about us area, the sites, the other sites that we own, site links, that's usually like your privacy area, your privacy policy, your terms of service, things like that you can put there. And then down at the bottom is usually the copyright area or there's also sometimes the powered by area. So those are the two different areas that you can change. And the first method that we're gonna talk about is how to add the widget area to your site. And the footer area is dependent on what theme you have. For instance, this is the 2020 theme and you see I have the copyright area or the powered by area, but I don't, it doesn't look like I have a widget area set up. So we can change that by heading back over to our dashboard and we'll go down to appearance, go to widgets. And I'll say this throughout the tutorial, but it'll be theme specific. So if your theme has a footer area, like you see, I have two different ones that I can add widgets to then you can change your footer area. So say I want to put a menu. That's a typical widget that most people will put. They want to put a, a menu area down there. So we're going to head over to menus. We're going to create a quick menu for us. I'm going to click create new menu. I'm actually going to call it footer so I'll know where this one is and click create menu. And these are all the pages that I have. So I'm going to pick the ones that I think are important. And this could be like, like I said, privacy policy would be a big one. Since I'm just doing this for the demo, I'm going to pick those three and save it. And now I have a footer menu that I can use in the widgets section. So I'm going to go back to my widgets under appearance. So on the left, I'm going to search for a navigation menu. I'll drag it up. And you can add a title if you want here and then select the footer menu that we just created. And then I'll save that. Now when I go back to my site and refresh it, I've got a footer area over here. So that's a quick way that you can change the widget area of your footer. Now the second way that you might want to adjust your footer area is, you see this is a different theme that I've added. You see this area down here that is like the copyright, usually has the powered by WordPress that maybe you want to change. So let's show, let me show you how you can do that. If your theme allows it, then there's usually an easy way to change it. For instance, we're going to head back over to our dashboard. You can go to appearance, customize, and I have the Astro theme on this example installed, which allows me to edit the footer. So you see, if I scroll all the way down, I see this little pencil mark. So I can click on this to edit, and then it will drop me straight into the customizing the footer bar area. And you can pick the layout that you want, if you wanted to change that up, you can also choose what section you want to work on. So we're working on the text area and maybe you want to change this up. You can just type in whatever you need to. And then when you change that, you'll see that live here. And then scrolling down, you see another section. That's the copyright section where we can go in and change it. And you see the little brackets. This is pulling in the information from the database. So you can leave that and they will always update. You ever see those websites where you go and you scroll down, you see the copyright is like 10 years old. That's because it's been what we call hard coded or it's text. And instead keep the current year like this, like you see here, and it will automatically pull in from the database. But then you can change anything over here if you want. And before we move on to the next one, let us know in the comments below, which one is your favorite way to edit the footer area of your WordPress website? Most themes will allow you to make changes to your foot area, but if you do happen to have a theme that doesn't, then the third method will work for you. And it does involve a little bit of manipulating some codes. You'll want to make a backup of your website first, 
And then you can connect an FTP client to your hosting provider. So you can go into your folder area where you open up the footer.php file. You'll be searching for this bit of code. And then once you find it, you'll see this powered by WordPress area where you can remove that altogether or add whatever it is that you're wanting to add in there. And then sometimes you're just needing to add some code to your WordPress website. And maybe they're saying put it in the footer and it's usually like JavaScript. A lot of times with Pinterest, they're asking you to put this in the footer or in the closing body of your text. I'll show you how you can easily do that next. So we want to head over to plugins, add new. We're going to install a plugin that does just a really good job. It's, it's very simple. It's called insert headers and footers. This is the one we want and we'll install it. We'll also activate the plugin. Great. Once it's activated, we see it here. So now we can go over to settings, insert headers and footers. And this is where you would add, say the script for Pinterest here, and then you would save it. And then you would be able to add buttons or widgets to from Pinterest onto your site by adding that bit of code in here. Another typical one that people usually put is scripts in the footer is if you're connecting your website with Google Analytics, then you can add the code manually here. But what I would recommend is using something like Monster Insights, which is the easiest way to connect Google Analytics with your website. You do it in just a few clicks to connect everything up. And then once everything's connected, you see beautiful reports right from your WordPress dashboard on just how your website is doing in terms of traffic, page views, sessions. You also see things like your bounce rate as well as device breakdown, like how many people are on a mobile. Do you need to create more mobile responsive theme on your site, as well as top refers, countries, and so much more. To get started, just head over to monsterinsights.com and make sure you use promo code WPBVIP and you'll get the best discount on Monster Insights. And if you want to, you can watch a complete tutorial where I show you how to install Google Analytics to your WordPress website. And thanks for watching.